Hello everyone, this is KJPC Gaming. We are back in Green Hell today. Uh, we're going to take a little trip today. Uh, we're going to start heading in this direction. I'm hoping to make it this far. <laughs> it's been a number of days since I've been faced with uh, anything remotely dangerous. Uh, let's see, I think I'm pretty hungry here. Uh, I got tired of waiting on these bananas. They might have fixed the problem with them falling. There we go. Uh, it is the dry season, and the stuff is uh, most uh, certainly uh, not hanging in there. Let's see, how much weight is that? 42 pounds. I don't think these things weigh very much. There's a third one. I think you have to pick all of them or they won't uh, go back to ripening again. 75%. I'm hoping that'll hang on. Oh, there's a little bit of water in there. Uh, this is okay. All right, let's take a look at what I got done. I got that roof done. Here it is. I've got some bamboozles. I'm going to change that probably to um, uh, day 28. Here we are. I'm going to change this to mud as well. I got the frame for the courtyard. And uh, over here is the shower. This is the top of the shower. Uh, so far, uh, now I haven't built a shower since before the update, so I'm not sure. But you didn't used to be able to fill this thing uh, during the dry season, so there's like no hurry. I have been waiting on the dry season to start traveling. And um, I've also been waiting for my meat to finish cooking. That snake is now going to have the possibility of being inside of our house. I might have one or two coconuts. They keep falling out of this tree on my head, so I thought I'd better start collecting them someplace. I'm hoping that the dry season won't be too much longer. Uh, all right, so I got this frame. Here's the courtyard. Uh, we are going to have lots of plants in here. You can also put plants on the roof, but part of that's going to be the bedroom. <clears throat> I have a ton of stuff. I wonder if... Um, Seven hours, 43.9 pounds. Brr, that's a lot of weight. Uh, that's going to go bad. These are probably going to go bad before I can eat them anyway. It's not really that far. Oh, look, I've got room to uh, increase my health, so... Yeah. We'll go ahead and eat all of that. Do I still need more? Oh, I need fat. Get rid of that thing. We'll eat all of those. I am completely full. Uh, 80 water. There's bones on the ground. That's weird. Oh, here's some meat soup. I don't know how the meat soup made me dirty, but whatever. <laughs> that was weird. I saw something on top of that rock and I thought, oh, that looks just uh, exactly like... Um, a snake, but it wasn't a snake. Okay, here we go. I have uh, some bandages, brought some bones. I've got some needles, some ants, although I doubt we're going to fall. Um, five arrows. I don't think I'm going to need more than five. Uh, if I lose an arrow, that's going to be irritating for sure. And uh, there is, like, no really faster way to do this. 
but to just like go up here to the road and hope that we don't have any arguments with uh, snakes or spiders. Something buzzing in my ear. Oh, here it is. I don't know if I'm going to be able to save that until we get back. But uh, animal droppings are by far the best fertilizer for your plants. Uh, I'm trying to avoid the snake, but I don't know exactly where he is because he spawns in a slightly different location every day. And, uh, yeah, you can see that's completely empty. All right, we are going northwest carefully. It's been a while since I traveled. Uh, I did um, take my main save all the way around the entire map and uh, gathered all of the available maps. I'm trying to be careful, but I just feel it. I know I deserve it because I've had days and there he is. I've had days and days of peace. Am I going to be able to find the spider that just almost bit me? I don't even want to. There's the snake. Oh, thank goodness. I'm not going to take him. We'll just leave him there. And we'll come up here onto these lovely rocks. And... Jake. <laughs> and uh, walk ourselves right down onto the beach. Hopefully I will not fall. Please don't fall onto the beach. Looking for a snake? Okay. <laughs> that is uh, uh, the way that I told you guys, like on day two, don't go that way. Remember, I was down here on the beach, and I said, you see these? I called them mandrakes. They're madrones. I said, don't go that way. Go down there. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> it's dangerous. So we made actually really good time, and uh, I didn't get hurt. And that's a good thing. We need to crouch to get underneath this tree. There we go. <laughs> I don't uh, think it's, yeah, it's, see, it's 12.30, so uh, it's way too late to head off. There's another one. We'll kill this one, too. Leave his body there to warn his friends. <laughs> Uh, nothing like a little bit of practice. We'll take a look at that when we get up here. And, uh, yeah, we could probably use to eat some mushroom soup. And also fishing bait. God, I haven't had uh, orange mushrooms in days. Days and days and days. I haven't had, to, honestly, I haven't had very many carbs at all. And now I'm going to have to crouch again, so here we go. Here we go. I didn't want to walk through the water. There was a stingray there when we left. I think that's where he was. Uh, I started playing Spirits of Amazonia. And uh, it's... Hi there, little guy. Uh, it's, you know, it's kind of a... It's definitely harder than story mode. And I think what makes it harder is just the sheer amount of forest that you have to go through. And um, you can do it without the tribal, without the natives on. Um, but you don't get the cool weapons that way. I don't have a whole lot of practice at fighting the natives. And... Um, so I get killed a lot 
<laughs> Between the natives and the jaguars. Now, I did finally turn the jaguars off and start over. I turned off the kitty cats. I was, uh, I'm embarrassed to say that uh, they, they come too quickly into the game. And uh, I think what I need to do to deal with the jaguars is um, to uh, start building a base and um, hang out on a base and develop my skills, you know, for a few days at least, so that when I um, throw a spear, oh, that's convenient, um, I'm not, I'm, I'm able to actually hit him with some force. This thing's got to be empty. It is. How are we doing? It's 2 o'clock. I don't want to get into a situation, you know? It's like, I know that... Um, oh, I left some wood. Uh, I also thought that I left an axe here. I don't want to get into a situation where... Um, it's late in the evening when I'm getting to my destination. Hey, buddy. Nice. Piranha. Maybe we should do some fishing and hang out. Uh, fish last forever. And uh, I think we will just build ourselves a fire here. And... Uh, uh, never works here. Let's put it over here. Uh, I have zero sticks, but I don't want to get into a situation where um, we're arriving late in the evening and I'm exhausted and sick and, you know, can't really recover because that is not uh, in keeping with my game. Oh, God, I'm way too heavy. Jump. <laughs> that wasn't much of a jump, dude. <laughs> I'm going to have to set down some stuff. Uh, yeah, you just flop around right there for a while. What am I, 39 now? <laughs> Don't you fall on the floor. 35, maybe I could pick up some wood now. <laughs> I kind of thought it was going to take longer to get here. So we don't need a big lumber tree. We just need a stick tree. There we go. I've done some crafting in the last few days, although not like uh, intentionally. I've just been doing crafting because I had to. Where? There it is. <laughs> Where's the stick? Oh. Yeah, that was right. I can count. <laughs> Need more sticks. Little stick. That's only four. Uh, everything between here and uh, the next destination is um it's uh snake and spider infested I guess. You don't really want to get there in the middle of the night. It's it's already three o'clock and we haven't even built a fire yet. I was just collecting wood for it. Time goes by super fast. There we go. So we will see what the condition of this is. Twenty three it's already down to 23%. Wow. Come on, come on now, Jake. You don't need to get upset, dude. You haven't done anything today. <laughs> Let's go ahead and harvest that. That will give us a bunch of uh, other stuff. See, that's not so heavy. Fish. Here we go. It's only one piece of fish. 
and we'll make some soup and we'll have to like refill that now I have a whole bunch of stuff on me all right we're cooking fish now there's butterflies everywhere one way to practice um, with your uh, bow is to kill mice. Uh, I was in a cave and spirits of Amazonia just shooting uh, mice like everywhere. No, oh, that's not going to be enough. I shouldn't have drank that one. Piranha cooked. There we go. We'll go ahead and refill it. I think that's 25 right there. And another mushroom soup, maybe. That's got three days. That's got a day and a half. All right, it is only four o'clock. That is not good. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna fill that thing. Whoops. I don't know if this thing dehydrated or ran out or what, you know. But um, I'm thinking that it probably dehydrated because I swear I remember filling it before I left. But that might have been a different save and yeah. I made... Um, I started out making content for Green Hell like a month ago. And for one reason or, an, or another, I wasn't like particularly happy with it. And then I thought, I better wait for the update, which was just like a day or two away. It wasn't like I was gonna be waiting for a long time. <laughs> and uh, so uh, I decided to throw all that away and start over. And I started uh, the night that uh, Moose started on PS4 is the night that I started uh, to make uh, content for this series. Oh, I forgot to fill it back up. Now we'll be able to fill it with clean water. The pot and the tortoise shell do just great for this. They take all the water out. And the little tiny cups don't work for this. You need too many of them. In fact, you need four of them. There we go, that's all full clean water. Pick that up. Oh, that's why I weigh less. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to carry all of this. 43 pounds. 46 pounds. That is not enough. Dirty. That is not enough uh, for what I need to carry back. So I'm going to have to give something up. Just need some time to pass here. Um, we can go to bed early. Let's go check and see if there is going to be another fish. <sighs> Goodness sake. <laughs> My fishing skills have been not good. <laughs> All right. What time is it? Six o'clock. It is super early. And you'll see uh, it's going to want me to get up at two o'clock in the morning. But I'm going to fix that. All right. So we're up at two o'clock in the morning. Uh, let's.
let's see if I have brought anything here. Oh yeah, there was stuff on there. We don't need cow pash here. I don't actually need the fish bones either. Let's do this. Oops. There we go. Oops. <laughs> Can't get my fingers working here. I think it's axe skill. I was going to look at the skills with you. I think it's axe. Yeah, I'm only at 77 with axes. Uh, 86 with blades. Uh, and the bow, archery, I'm only at 18. That is not good. This uh, two-handed axe, if you are playing Spirits of Amazonia Part 2, this two-handed axe shows up. Um, yeah, I, I don't recommend that. I really don't. It takes a huge amount of stamina to use. It's extremely heavy. It weighs, I think it weighs five. So it's like, um, what is that? It's like two pieces of meat. And, uh, every time you try to, um, do anything, and you have to use, use it a lot because it's your axe, you know. Um, anytime you try to do anything, it's just a major, major uh, draw on your stamina. And I think it's just not a good idea to use it. All right. We got some good bone soup. We've used a little bit of energy. We've got some traveling buddies. Oh, my God. Yeah. There we go. Let's go take a two-hour nap. Or a three-hour nap. And then we are going to take off. Yeah, that's probably late enough. And uh, it is dry season, so we need to fill that back up. And this holds 25 water, so it should fill that uh, right back up. All right. Let's uh, look at the map. We're right here. We need to go here. So up the river. Ah, oh, there's some coconuts. Lots and lots of frogs. No, did I say it's that? No, that's back to the, uh, I think that's the right way. Northeast. Yeah. Slogging through the mud. So disgusting. I think I'm going to get lost instantly because I cannot remember how to get there. Uh, it should be directly northeast. I should be able to go. All right, let's watch out for stuff. Stingrays. Once you see them, they're not hard to see, but... Oh, by the way, I saw a baby... Um, I think they're baby capybaras. I'm not really sure if they're supposed to be baby uh, picari or baby capybara. Uh, where is this at? I could see it from down there. Is it over there? Uh, northeast. It's that way. Uh, darn it. I've gone and done it. <laughs> there uh by the way there there is a road uh this is not necessary up oh. and we will probably cross that road uh in no time at all god that birdness scared me 
I thought, oh my, I've gone and stepped right into it. I just get um, immensely confused between the road that goes up here and uh, let's see, there is the grotto and it's that way. Uh, I get immensely confused between the road that goes to where I want to go and the road that get, just goes to the cocoa farm. <laughs> Look at how beautiful that is. Some of this water used to be uh, pristine. Don't drag your feet, man. Making me nervous. Okay, screamer. Oh, I'm going south. Darn it. I wonder if I had to do that. I don't think I did. Yes, I hear you. Buzz, buzz. There's a fever plant. Uh, not to worry, because I do have uh, Tylenol on me. Tylenol. Uh, all right, where are we at? Let's look. 46. We are too far east, of course. Uh, and 16. So we need to go a little bit west, because I went too far. Of course I did. <laughs> I'm not used to that bird. Oh, there's a snake right there. Seven. Yeah, I passed by this grotto and I said, oh, look, nice grotto. Duh. 48. Uh, 48. Why am I missing this? Is it up there, maybe? I wonder if it's right up there. Oh. All right, here we go. Scorpion. Welcome to the cave. Spider. Right in front of me. Didn't want the spider. Uh, you can have the spider. Look at that. Brazilian wandering spider. Uh, I don't know if this is the right place. Come on. More scorpions. That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> uh, ah, darn it. This is the iron cave. And the sound of sand falling down and rocks falling down all sound like um, spiders and scorpions. Let's try to get up there and see if that's where I went wrong. I thought this was going to be a little bit difficult. There. 4815. Uh, okay, there is the hole over the cave. Ah, oh, bummer. Ah, oh, shit. 
Why does he, uh, oh, language? <laughs> what are you doing underneath there? Give me my arrow back. <laughs> language? English? <laughs> All right, don't bite me. Oh, there's a shorter way up here, of course. All right, well, I was hoping to get to this camp, and unless it's right here, uh, we didn't make it to the camp. Where am I at? 4616? Uh, 4616, yeah. Yeah. This is not the camp. Uh, there's the rats, though, so must be pretty close. I think it's over there. Oops. I guess I'll go up here. Hi, guys. Uh, oh, that looks so weird. It looked like an animal laying there. Well, darn. I was hoping to show you guys the camp first. It's over there. Like, it's over there. But we'll do this first. This is, uh, we're going to set up a camp right here. Uh, there is a bunch of stuff here that I can now not pick up. So we're going to have to change our weight a little bit. That's 45. The candy bars don't weigh anything. Uh, where'd the other one go? The can of food. 47. Ugh. Bag of nuts? 47.6. <laughs> I usually eat all the canned food and bagged food and stuff pretty quickly. So here is the Jeep. It is at 44.17. Um, and the camp I was trying to get to is actually over here. 47.17. It is right on the other side of this little hill, and yeah. So it's right there. I just didn't find it. Uh, but I am going to build a camp right here, where I always do. And I will quickly show you. It's right here. I think it's right here. There it is. Right up the road, a piece, is a little shed, little shade area right here where you can drop a fire. And you're right up the sort of river a little ways. Up that path is what's called the uh, elevator. Um, unfortunately, we can't go to the gold mine. So going to the elevator is a waste of time. Uh, when we come back next time, we're going to take this treacherous journey. And um, we just need to like sort of hit against this rock and then we can follow it down and we'll be all right. And uh, we'll get the log bed. All right, you guys, I wanna thank you all so much for coming along. I know it went a little bit long today, but um, I really wanted to show you that other camp because it's a pretty cool place to build even in the dry season. And this is the dry season, so there is no water you have to go all the way back down to the river uh, to get it. So make sure that you bring it with you. And this is empty when you get it. So, yeah. All right. I want to thank you all so much for coming along. If you are new to the channel, then please consider subscribing. If you uh, are enjoying the content, then please click the like button. Picari. <laughs> and as always, have an amazing day.